The Cartoon Myth Slash Urban Legend Iceberg Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be making a video on The Cartoon Myth Slash Urban Legend Iceberg This one was made by Reddit user Simedius Who is also the same creator as the video game slash myth iceberg Now unlike the video game slash myth iceberg I'm not going to leave out an entire section of the iceberg So yeah, anyway, let's get into the iceberg Lost Episodes Creepy Pasta. Now, for those of you who don't know what Lost Episodes Creepy Pasta is, it's usually a kids' TV show which had an episode that was really disturbing and never got aired on TV. Now, usually these Lost Episodes are not made by the creators and were just made pretty much to scare people. Probably one of the most popular Lost Episode Creepy Pastas is Suicide Squidward, which depicts Squidward ending it and it's probably become one of the most famous lost episode creepypastas to date there's much more spanning over more tv shows and i'll just let you find them coma theories now this type of theory can pretty much work with any sort of tv show so the theory goes that the main character is actually in a coma and all the events in the show is just a figment of the imagination taking place in a coma pretty much now there is a lot of TV shows that can work with this theory most notable being the Simpsons this is because it's shown in the show that they don't age over the 30 plus years the show's been on air so yeah like I said this can work with any TV show purgatory theories now this is pretty much the same thing as the last entry on the iceberg except it only works for a select few type of shows. Take Tom and Jerry for example, where Tom is always having the worst day of his life. Now this theory goes that the main character is in a purgatory like state before going up to heaven. Now it's pretty dark when you think about that for a second, which means the character has died, but you know, it's a theory. A film theory. Simpson predictions. One thing that the Simpsons are known for is that they pretty much predict the future in some of the earlier seasons. They predicted Trump being president and even coronavirus. Now, when you think about it, the show's been on air for more than 30 years, so of course some things that happen in the show are bound to happen at some point, but some of it is strange. Like, how did they predict the fact that Trump would be president? Is there some sort of deeper meaning to this? Clockman. Now, this is what I could find. Clockman is a 1976 paper cutout animated short film that was released in the communist Czechoslovakia. I hope I said that right. An English dub was made in the US two years later by the Educational Film Production Company Learning Corporation of America. Now, the animation is kind of creepy, but I'm sure the reason why I think that is because it was made in the 1970s. But, yeah, I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you would like to view it. Sesame Street's Cracks Sesame Street Cracks is an animated musical insert produced for Sesame Street back in the 70s. It's about a young girl who is unable to go outside because of the rain. So she imagines that all the cracks in her house take the form of a camel. And they both go on an adventure. This is a pretty strange pitch for an episode of Sesame Street. But why? A Day with Spongebob Squarepants the movie. A Day with Spongebob Squarepants the movie is an unlicensed, unofficial movie of Spongebob. Now, from what I could find, the plot revolves around Spongebob pretty much, um, dying. Not, like, physically dying, like, in the media. So, Spongebob's agent puts together this thing where if you win something, if you do something, you could win a chance to spend the day with Spongebob. And this lucky kid is able 
to spend the day with him. There's a whole lot of, like, theories on what happens, and, yeah. Some people have claimed to have watched the movie. Some people have claimed to have the movie and upload clips onto YouTube. Fake. Some people have claimed that they work for the company that made the movie, and that's also fake. Now, probably the main reason why the movie never got released was copyright issues, but they still could upload it on sites like YouTube or Vimeo. <laughs> I'm sorry, no one uses Vimeo. They could just upload it to YouTube, and people could just watch it for free without having, you know, copyright issues. But who knows, maybe one day it will get released? Or, it'll just never be released and become a part of lost media. Mandela Effect Now, in some cartoons, some people remember something in the show being different. Take, for example, Pikachu's tail. People remember it having a black tip at the end, but it was never there. There's tons and tons of more examples of these Mandela Effects in TV shows, one of which will be later down on the iceberg. Pixar Theory Pixar Theory depicts the fact that every single Pixar movie is all in the same universe, just in different times. Like, here are some of the movies right now. Now, this version right here is out of date. As you can see, they're missing some movies like Luca and Turning Red and some of the more newer movies. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool theory, but they definitely need to update some of it. SpongeBob 7 Deadly Sins There's a theory that each SpongeBob character represents the seven deadly sins. This is how it goes. SpongeBob represents lust. Squidward represents wrath. Patrick represents Sloth, Sandy represents Pride, Gary represents Gluttony, Plankton represents Envy, and of course, Mr. Krabs represents Greed. This is a pretty strong theory, and who knows, maybe it's true. Candle Cove This is what I could find on the wiki. Candle Cove is an online creepypasta horror story written by web cartoonists and author Chris Storab? Is that how I say it? In 2009, the story centers on a fictional television series titled Candle Cove that could only be viewed by a small group of people, predominantly children, who later recall the disturbing show on a web forum. Now, I've taken a look at a couple of videos of this and it looks pretty creepy, but what do you think? Disney subliminal messages. So sometimes in Disney movies you can see messages that are kind of inappropriate and not meant for kids. I was a teenage Gary deleted scene. In the Spongebob episode I was a teenage Gary, Squidward gets injected with a snail juice which pretty much turns him into a snail. Now people remember a scene where he transformed. However, that's not in the original episode. Instead, it just cuts to him in snail form, not showing him transform into a snail. This also ties into my Mandela effect a bit on the iceberg. Anyway, the real question is, do you remember that scene? Walt Disney was frozen. Now, there's a theory out there saying that Walt Disney, the founder of Disney, cryogenically froze himself. Now, there is sort of some proof to this. He did like the idea of cryogenically freezing someone, but just because they like the idea doesn't mean it actually happened. Now, there is a teeny tiny little chance that he is frozen, or was frozen and is still alive, but probably not. Kid drowns looking for SpongeBob. So there was urban legend about a kid who drowned while looking for Spongebob. Now this story is false, nothing ever happened. But yeah, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Sailor Mouth Uncensored 
In the SpongeBob episode Sailor Mouth, Patrick and SpongeBob swear a lot. However, it is censored in the episode. The actors did actually swear for it. Now, there's no real footage of the actors swearing for this episode, but it did happen. The closest thing I could find to these were pretty much people using 15.ai to fill in the extra bits, but that's it. Shaggy and Scooby are stoners. Now, there's a theory that Shaggy and Scooby's behavior are inspired by stoners. Now, that might not be true, but to be honest, it kind of is. They kind of do act like stoners. But it's up to you if you want to think that. The Lion King plagiarized Kimba. For those of you who don't know, Kimba the White Lion was a 1965 TV show. Now, many people believe that the Lion King stole from that show, which, according to Disney, they didn't. But there is some strange similarities between Kimba and Simba, most notable being the name. Now, of course, this could just be coincidence. But there's always a chance that Disney did steal from Kimba, the White Lion. Rugrats Storyboard Jam A Google search has yielded me different results, but probably the most trustworthy one I could find was about a character killing another character in the Rugrats. Now, I don't want to get too deep into this stuff, because it's pretty dark. Even the website labeled it as not safe for work. Now, I'll leave a link to the website in the description if you would like to check it out for yourself. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Special Ed. So, according to the Lost Media Wiki, Special Ed is an episode that was pitched during the creation of Ed, Ed, and Eddie that never got aired. Now, supposedly this is supposed to be some sort of creepypasta, but really, how does a rejected episode count as a creepypasta? It's more or less a lost episode than a creepypasta. Cal Art Style So, I also mentioned this in my Turning Red Iceberg video. The Cal Art style is an art style that was used by many famous animators on shows like Star vs. Forces of Evil or Steven Universe and, like I mentioned earlier, Turning Red. Now, I'm not sure why it's this low on the iceberg. It's pretty well known. So, yeah, that's the Cal Art style. Computer Warrior Porygon Dub. This is what I could find. It was a season 1 episode of Pokemon called Computer Warrior Porygon. Yes, it's called Porygon, not Polygon. That involves Ash and Satoshi going inside and out of a Pokeball. Some say that this never had an English dub, while some did. Now, I cannot find a good solid answer to trust, so I'm just going off with the fact that it wasn't dubbed. Phineas and Ferb is inspired by a schizophrenic girl's diary. Now, I managed to find one thing that is close to this, and it's this post on a website called iFunny. It goes, Phineas and Ferb are characters from real life. All of their events on the show really happened. The difference is that Candace had schizophrenia and imagined everything her brothers did this girl eventually ended up committing suicide and wrote all of these events in her diary. Now, given the fact that this iceberg is about myths, this is most likely faked and never happened. Kablam! Episode 29 Kablam! was a TV show that aired on Nickelodeon back in the 90s. Now, it's very hard to try and watch this show since it was never archived. However, we're not going to be talking about the show itself. Instead, we're going to be talking about one of the episodes, episode 29, which some people state that the episode actually happened, while some others didn't. Now, I can't really find any solid answer on that, nor can I find anything on the f what happened in episode 29, 
But if you want a better look on it, I'll leave a link to the YouTuber L Supersonic Q, who does a pretty good job explaining this lost episode. Toho sued Klasky and Supo because of Reptar. Okay, so Toho, which is a Japanese film company that made Godzilla, decided to sue Classy and Supo because Reptar resembled Godzilla, which I kinda see, but then again, Reptar could have just been a reference, so they didn't even really need to sue them, but uh, copyright is super strict nowadays. Disney lost the rights to Tarzan. Now, I couldn't find anything on Disney losing the rights to Tarzan, but one thing I did find out is that Disney will be losing the rights to... Mickey Mouse. Yep, in the year 2024, which is only two years away, Mickey Mouse is no longer going to be a part of Disney. Mark your calendars. Dragon Ball AF. Dragon Ball AF is a comic series of Dragon Ball Z. However, it doesn't exist. It's a very popular myth in the Dragon Ball fan base. And while there are some people who think that it does exist, the real answer is it doesn't exist. Gumball the Downer. The Downer is an episode of the amazing world of Gumball that follows Gumball being depressed and his family trying to cheer him up. However, Gumball wishes for them to be gone, which actually happens. I don't know what the myth or urban legend thing in this story is. Perhaps there's a deeper meaning to this that I might not know about. But yeah, that's as far as the information goes. Angela Anaconda caused a divorce. Angela Anaconda was a TV show about some girl doing s strange stuff. It was a strange show in general. Digimon movie, or whatever the hell it's called, that got released a couple years back. And in the theaters, they would play a crossover between Digimon and Angela Anaconda. Now, supposedly this caused a divorce as the two parents blamed each other for going to the wrong movie theater. Now, of course, this is fake. Angela Anaconda never caused a divorce. It was just an internet story from... Well, can you guess where it came from? That's right. 4chan. David Hasselhoff in Cyberchase. Okay, I couldn't find anything on David Hasselhoff in the show Cyber Chase. Dungeons and Dragons 1983 final episode. I couldn't find anything myth or urban legend related on this. Heck, I couldn't even find much stuff about the last episode of the 1983 show. So if anyone knows what this is referring to, let me know. Animaniacs Minavera Mink. Minavera Mink was a cut character from the show Animaniacs. According to what I could find, she was removed for being too suggestive. Now, um, there's supposed to be some sort of myth behind this, but I cannot find it. SpongeBob Adult Party Cartoon SpongeBob Adult Party Cartoon was an urban legend about episodes of SpongeBob that would air on Adult Swim. Now, of course, this was an urban legend. No episodes of Spongebob would ever air on Adult Swim. However, it is an interesting idea to think about. Monsters Inc. Uncle Roger. Okay, so this is a myth revolving around Monsters Inc. So, the myth goes that in Monsters Inc., when Sully enters Boo's room, you can find a picture of a couple of characters having... It was a myth. It, the picture was never there. It was just a fake uh, someone trying to get an attention. Saki Sonobashi. A quick Google search has yielded me different results. 
Some say that it's a deep web anime girl that has not been found, while others say it's a forbidden song. Now when I google this, the first thing that comes up is a song, so it's maybe the last option, but I'm not sure which one's true. Either way, these are urban legends. Now, what is this anime girl? I don't know, and I don't like anime, so I'm not gonna google it. Pink Morning Cartoon According to the Lost Media Wiki, the Pink Morning Cartoon was a Lost TV show that aired in Columbus, Ohio. Now, another website says that it was a homemade religion show for kids, airing between the 90s and the early 2000s, and it was created by Ella Flowers. So, yeah. I'll leave a link to some clips of the show in the description below if you're interested to see it. Barney was inspired by a serial killer. Now for some reason people on the internet think that Barney the Dinosaur was inspired by a 1930s killer? How and why is my question. How and why? That's besides the point. Anyway. It's of course faked, it was debunked by Snopes.com, so, yeah. But, why? The Dawn Is Your Enemy The Dawn Is Your Enemy was a TV show that was on Adult Swim, from 2005 to 2010. It was meant to scare children from watching the channel, especially those who would stay up late, hence why it would appear early in the morning. Hey Arnold's Lilo was sexually abused. Okay, I couldn't find anything on this, so if you know what this entry on the iceberg is referring to, let me know. Cubo's Last Moments For those of you who don't know, Cubo was a free-to-watch streaming service where you could watch kids' TV shows. Now, something disturbing happened one day. All of a sudden, the channel was hacked. Or, some rogue employee did something. No one knows. Anyway, when this happened, all the Cubo TV show characters were displayed on the screen, along with text saying that if the viewers didn't give these people a certain amount of money, the channel would be taken down. Now there was a phone number to this as well, which you could dial. And when you would dial it, well... Rick Astley's never gonna give you up would start playing. Yep, this was just a Rick roll. But... How did this happen? It's strange. But anyway, I'll leave a link to the YouTuber Wavy Web Surf, who does a pretty good who makes a pretty good video on this entire event. Dragon Tales Too Hot for TV. The closest thing I could find to this was this website where people were just talking about Dragon Tales Too Hot for TV. Now, there's not enough information on here for me to actually know what it is. So, if anyone else has some more information, let me know. Cinderella and Tinkerbell are based on Marilyn Monroe. So there was a myth that was circling the internet a while back saying that Cinderella and Tinkerbell were based on Marilyn Monroe. Now, of course, this is not true. I mean, Cinderella might have been based on Marilyn Monroe, but not Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell was made back in 1904, and Marilyn Monroe was born in 1926, so that can't be true. The Butcher I couldn't find anything myth or cartoon or urban legend related on this, so you guys know the drill. SpongeBob Brazilian Defecation Broadcast According to what I could find, this was a lost episode of SpongeBob that only aired in Brazil. Now, it was pretty disturbing. And according to what I could find, it said that Squidward played the brown note with his clarinet. Which, if you don't know, the brown note is a noise that makes you poop your pants. Now, of course this isn't true, nothing ever happened. And the Spongebob Brazilian defecation broadcast never happened. Blue Cat Blues is Tom and Jerry final episode. Blue Cat Blues is an episode of Tom and Jerry 
where both Tom and Jerry want to end it all on a train track. Now, many people think this is supposed to be the final episode of Tom and Jerry for obvious reasons, but that's not true. I'm not even going to get into this. Tiffany Blake DIC Entertainment According to what I could find, Tiffany Blake is a rumored lost animated series that was known to be developed by animation company DIC for 1987. Now there's not much information on this so this is all I could get. My Little Pony a derp in the real life. I couldn't find anything on this. Goku and Frieza go to KFC the movie. Now there's said to be a scene where Goku where Goku eats Popeye's chicken rather than KFC. Now there was a myth saying that they were gonna make a movie on this, but of course you know that's stupid and they didn't do it. Don Bluth hate cats. I couldn't find anything on this. Miguel and Tulio as a gay couple. There is a myth saying that Miguel and Tulio from The Road to El Dorado were written as a gay couple, but of course that's not true. King of the Hill, Pygmalion, deleted scene. The deleted scene in King of the Hill, episode Pygmalion, was supposed to be a close-up of Trip's mutilated body. But, you know, it's a myth. Like everything on here. Coco Bane's Ren and Stimpy song. There was an urban legend saying that Coco Bane wrote a Ren and Stimpy song. However, the writers rejected it. Now, of course, this wasn't real and came from a radio show. Nope. Chicken Little 1943 original cut. Now, the original cut for Chicken Little 1943 version was much more bad than the real thing we got. Now, I can't find any footage of this original cut, so if anyone knows where I can find them, let me know. Problem Solvers Seizures. Now, some parents complain that the show Problem Solvers has some images that induce seizures. Now, I've looked at some of the images of the show and they definitely look like they could induce a seizure. Dragon Ball Z interrupted by 9-11 in Brazil. Now, I couldn't find anything on this, but if I had to assume what this entry may be referring to, it probably means that an episode of Dragon Ball Z was interrupted by a broadcast of 9-11 in Brazil. But that's just my theory. Asha's Pikachu is a girl. Now, people used to think that Pikachu was a girl. However, it has been confirmed that Pikachu is a boy. See Martin Croker's Forbidden File. Martin Croker's Forbidden File is a pornographic artwork of someone. Uncle Walt. Now there's not much information on this but from what I could find Uncle Walt is an unofficial Disney short. The Handy Manny Incident. One time on the Disney Channel the show Handy Manny was supposed to be playing. Instead a whole bunch of pornographic images started playing on screen. Pretty dirty stuff. Mickey Mouse cartoon interrupted by World War II outbreak on BBC. I couldn't find anything on this, but again, just assuming, Mickey Mouse was interrupted by a World War II outbreak on BBC. Yeah. Nickelodeon Hamster Wheels Incident. Now, I couldn't find anything on this. This might be referring to the show Double Dare, but that's more about slime than it is about ha hamster wheels. So if anyone knows what this entry on the iceberg is referring to, please let me know. And that was the cartoon myth slash urban legend iceberg. It actually took me quite a while to edit this video. Anyway, luckily, I didn't skip out on any major bits of the iceberg, nor was there already a video made about this iceberg. Anyway, real quick I would like to say thank you for 500 subscribers. I actually hit it 9 hours ago, it was around 10 o'clock when I hit it, it's now 7. So, yeah, that just proves my point that this video took a very long time to make. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Open eyes.
Breathing 